New details about one of six tornadoes that cut a path across Long Island. Yeah, this one snapping trees and damaging homes. News 12's Tama Ponton is in Hampton Bays tonight with the latest. Tama. Well, Rich and Antoinette, the National Weather Service says the tornado touched down here in Hampton Bays, possibly coming in as a water spout off of the Shinnecock Bay. They say it tore a path of destruction across the South Fork. I have never in my life have seen and experienced anything like that. Karen Clemente of Hampton Bay says she and her family lost 10 huge trees Saturday after the National Weather Service says an EF0 tornado with winds reaching speeds of 70 to 85 miles an hour touched down. It's incredible that nobody got hurt, nobody's house got damaged. Nobody's car got damaged. Clemente says no sooner than she and her family heard the severe weather alert on their phones, they heard a noise and ran to the basement. I turned around and looked and I saw the swirl, the table, the grill lifted, swirled around, and it was so quick, it was over. And we looked out the window and it was every single tree had been leveled. According to the National Weather Service, the tornado started here in Hampton Bays late Saturday afternoon and cut a path of destruction all the way to North Sea. They say the twister was 35 yards wide, cut a path 8.2 miles long, and blew across this part of the South Fork from about 4.08 until 4.14 p.m. Clemente says her advice to others after she and her family survived the tornado is to be prepared. Now I can see how truly, truly dangerous, how really powerful and dangerous and how fortunate that we really are. Fortunate indeed. Now the Southampton town supervisor says the tornado damage was so extensive. He signed an emergency declaration to aid with the cleanup and the recovery. No word yet on just how much all of this is going to cost. Rich Antoinette.